first module focused primarily on our beach board landing page and the resources and links that are available there. In this module, we want to turn our attention to the content page, to the quizzes page, and to the gradebook page. So when you're on the landing page, you can click on that top nav bar link called content and it will bring up the content page for you. Once on the content page, you have access to our syllabus, which you can download or just access through the contents page. And you'll also have access to the modules for the course. That is the individual components of the course broken down by topic. And within those modules, the course is broken down by week. When you click on a module, it will give you a lesson overview, learning objectives, and then it will give you links to all the assignments for that module. Again, if there's more than one week involved, it'll break it down on a week by week basis. Some of them like the orientation video and the critical thinking lectures are links to videos. And I'll talk about those in just a minute. There's a link to the beach board quiz that covers this material and is the assignment for that first full week of class. And then there's a link to the readings. Now, whenever there's a link to the readings, that link will take you to the textbook chapter that I've written for this part of the course. I've taught this critical thinking course almost since I originally came out of graduate school. So for a very, very long time. And over that period of time, I came to realize that the more traditional critical thinking textbooks didn't really prepare students for the sorts of critical thinking and information gathering that they really needed to do in the modern world. And so I began to write little supplements for the textbook. And those supplements eventually turned into chapters, and those chapters eventually turned into a textbook. And the textbook isn't quite complete, and so we're going to have to rely a little bit on the Hurley textbook to fill in some gaps. I'll do my best to try and eliminate as much of that as possible before we get to it this term, but it takes a long time for me to generate these chapters, and so I can't promise you that you're not going to need that Hurley textbook. So when you click on it, you'll get a PDF like this. I encourage you to just download that PDF, left click, click on save page as, save it to your computer so that you can highlight it, you can read it, you can add to it, you can do whatever you want with it and you don't have to worry about having internet access to get to it again. A similar story is true for our lectures. When you click on one of these links, it will take you to a playlist. That playlist collects together and organizes the individual component elements of a given lecture for the course. And so as you go through each individual component, you'll go through the entire lecture from beginning to end as part of this playlist. Now, all of those playlists can be found on our Critical Thinking YouTube page. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube page, not a lot happens. When I post a new video, it might tell you about it. But the YouTube page does contain every video that I've made for the course over the last couple of years. So it includes all the content that we have, as well as some content that I decided to cut out from the course this term. If we return to the landing page and move from the Content tab to the Quizzes tab, we can pull up the quiz page. If any of the links to the quizzes don't function correctly, you can always go to the quiz page and access them directly from that quiz page. One thing that I want to mention about the quizzes is the feedback that you get after taking them. So if you take a particular quiz, what you'll get is a list of all the questions, the answers that you gave to those questions. They'll be marked correct or incorrect. And then you'll also be able to access feedback about the answers that you gave to particular questions. And so if you get something wrong, or if you're just not as confident in the answer as you would have liked to have been, even though you got it right, you can always click on these tabs and you should get a relatively detailed explanation of why it was that the question had the answer or answers that it did. It takes a great deal of effort to create and maintain the sort of detailed questions with feedback that I have for this class. However, the idea, the hope is that they turn every quiz, every test, every practice exam into an opportunity for students to get feedback on their understanding and to reinforce material so that they're more than just tests, they are study aids. Finally, going back to our Beachport landing page and again going to that top navigation bar, clicking on the Grades tab pulls up your individualized gradebook 
page. The page is organized in terms of three overall columns. The first overall column is the item itself. So these are all the weekly homework assignments going down this column. The second column indicates the points. So once you take, for instance, homework one, as with all the homeworks, there are three possible points. And this number here will change to indicate how many of those three points you earned by completing that assignment. If you want to figure out how you're doing in terms of achieving a particular grade in the course, the weighted percentage of each assignment is given in this third and final column. Each homework assignment, for instance, is worth 1.92% of your overall course grade. And how much of that 1.92% you earn will be given here once you submit a completed assignment. In the third and final module of this orientation video, I'll go over the grading scheme and then I'll offer some advice for how best to approach the course to get the sort of outcome that you desire.